Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Thanks for joining me today and calling me in for another post-production demonstration. Today, we're gonna to look at Premiere and it's multicamming. Now, multicam is something that is so useful, especially if you're, you know, again, more than one camera. Um, it's really handy to know how to just put these multicam sequences together. So I'm just gonna do that very quickly for you now. Um, I've got two clips. I've got my primary camera here, and I've got my secondary here off to the side. Um, they would need a bit of color correction afterwards because they don't match at all. But um, let's just uh, combine these together. You can see that I've actually created a new folder here called Multicam. That's where I'm going to drop the newly created Multicam sequence. Super simple. The way that we do this is highlight both of those clips, right click, and we are going to go to Create Multicam Source Sequence. Now this menu is then going to pop up. Now it gives us various options. Um, now you can add in a new uh, name. I've just called it Markham12. Um, synchronize. That's that's quite an important thing. Now you can synchronize by timecode. If you've got timecode sync, it's always useful to have if you're doing a two camera shoot, you can select timecode. But I didn't have it on this particular shoot. So I've marked in an endpoint on camera one and an endpoint on camera two where I know the sync to be correct. And then so I'm going to choose in points to be the synchronization point. But if you go down, you can actually choose the audio as well and sync it to a particular channel. That's really useful if your time code's gone out the window and you can't find an endpoint. You can actually sync it via your audio, which is quite handy. But I'm going to keep it on endpoints. As we go down, sequence preset, keep it automatic, that's fine. You can create an offset, but we don't worry too much about that. Um, Move source clips to process bin. What this means is that once it's, if you tick this, it'll move these two clips into a new bin, sort of into a, a, a folder that, that you know that clip has been processed in some way. I don't want to do that. I want to keep them still as rushes, so I'm not going to select that. Um, sequence settings uh, or camera, that's fine. Audio channels, automatic, that's fine. Uh, camera names, I want to use the clip names. So you might want to play around with some of these, but, but I'm happy with the clip names. Click OK. And then this is what happens, the multicam clip will appear there. I'm just going to drag that into the multicam clip, I'm going to create a new bin, I'm going to call this uh, rushes, and I'm just going to drag those two in there, just to keep it a little bit tidier. Now I don't have to mess around with these anymore, I don't need them necessarily, because they're being referenced uh, to this. Um, now if I drag that entire multicam sequence onto a new timeline, you can see that it, we have a multicam sequence and we have like multiple streams of audio here too. Um, but what is happening is that we can't see any reference to these cuts, okay? So really, really good to know is that on your uh, record monitor, you probably should see this icon here, toggle multicam view, and the record um, on off toggle as well. If they're not there, jump out to the plus, okay? And just drag them down, okay? Uh, just drag them onto anywhere in here, okay? Just in case they're not there. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is hit the toggle view. Okay, so this is giving me uh, the sequence view. This is my main camera, you know, my vision out. And then and it's this yellow box is saying that we're looking at camera one, which we are. Okay. Um, but camera two is also ready to go and timed correctly. Hey, I really appreciate you watching so far. If you could give me a like or subscribe, it really shows your appreciation and helps me make more content for you to enjoy. Thanks. What we now need to do, in order for this to create the marks that we require to be cut, we need to hit the uh, record on button. Okay, so that's now on, ready to go. And now if we hit play, we can now click on camera two. We can go back to camera one. We can go to camera two. And what's really handy this? This is now we're in a, we're in a, we're vision mixing now. That's all we're doing. So you could have multiple streams of vision here. It makes no difference. You can just cut between um, as many as you have timed up together. Great. So if we stop that, let's have a look what's happened. Let's zoom into the timeline. Look, really simply, every time I've clicked on the box here, on these source boxes, it's added an edit. Okay. Really clever. Very 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 efficient. Very nice. Um, and so when you play through, the record monitor is going to cut. Really nice. There we go. Good. So very, very, very simple way to create a multicam um, 
sequence. Once you're happy with your multicam uh, cut, what you must do, it's really important, is to highlight all of your vision cuts, okay? Right click and go to multicam, flatten. What that's gonna do, it's gonna throw away all of the information that is on the cameras we can't see, okay? We don't wanna take those with us. So these are now all cuts. We now, we can't um, multicam these shots anymore. All we can do is sort of, you know, we can, we can, we can edit them in here, but we can't um, multicam them anymore because they're flanned. That's a really useful way to create an XML or AF going into uh, Resolve or Baselight or, or another application. They just want one flattened file. And what we don't want is having other files tagged to the main file. That could just confuse the timeline. It could confuse the XML and you might have a bit of an issue in your grade. So um, just make sure that you flatten your clips at the end of the process. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.